<laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, welcome back. Yep. We are sitting outside now um, at the pub called the, the Rainbow Hotel. Rainbow Hotel. Rainbow Hotel. Um, and it's a uh, it's a really really hot day. It's like forty <laughs> degrees right now. It is really warm. So I, this this used to be ice water. Um, it's it's really it's really warm. Um, and I'm I'm switching to the the Dutch wheat beers because it's, yeah. it's hot summertime, bit of lemon. Yeah. It so so we're gonna we're gonna try and make this quick so that we don't melt and die. Um, yeah. uh, but we're gonna talk about black holes. Yep. So luckily, uh, we do like to have special guests, and our special guest <laughs> for this episode is Dr. Katie Mack, who's a renowned expert on black holes. I don't know. So I'm looking forward to learning something today. Um, I guess, Katie. Yeah. What is a black hole? Okay. So a black hole is. Uh, so it's easiest to 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 put it in terms of people talk about it as a it's a dead it's a dead collapsed star, basically. This is not the only kind of black hole in existence, but the, the, the quickest way to explain it is you have a star, the star is, is evolving, the star is burning, it's fuel, and it's, it's held up by the pressure of this fuel burning in the center. Um, like the same way that a hot air balloon is held up by the, the heat um, inside it, it, it inflates the balloon and it makes it rise. So you have a similar thing with stars, it's called hydrostatic equilibrium. Um, and uh, just in case you enjoy jargon, that, yeah. yeah. Um, and eventually, the star runs out of fuel. And when the star runs out of fuel, the star starts to collapse. And it goes through several stages of different kinds of collapse and different kinds of really, really dense matter. And if it's massive enough, then there are no forces in the universe capable of holding the star together anymore. And when it reaches that point, it collapses in on itself and it becomes a black hole and um, what that is is it's basically it's like a it's like a, a, a tear in space time almost so like a, a pinch in space time so it's 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 the matter um matter if as you might know uh, affects the shape of space time which is a complicated thing we can talk about another time but um but uh, matter uh, has gravity gravity affects space time and at some point you can get so much gravity um, and so much matter that space time basically collapses on itself, and then you get this region where um, nothing can move in or out, or things can move in, nothing can, can come out, um, and you have sort of like a like a drain in space time where everything just falls, in, everything that's close enough just falls in, yeah. can't escape, and the region beyond which nothing can escape is called the event horizon, which you might have heard of. Um, it's not a very good film, but that's yeah, not what Yeah, Katie don't means. don't watch that movie. Um, but the event horizon is this sort of point of no return. If you cross the event horizon, you will fall into the black hole, um, and you will undergo something called spaghettification, where you get stretched out because there's more there's more gravity on your feet than your head, and you kind of stretch into spaghetti. You fall into the black hole. You uh, burn up in the radiation of all that energy and and terrible terrible things. Um, it's not advice. Again, yeah, as always, don't try this. Probably, at home. probably stay away from black holes. Yeah. yeah. So, I guess, do we need to worry about our own sun eventually becoming a black hole? No, the the sun isn't going to make it. It's not. Uh, it's not massive enough. Okay. Um, so the sun. What's the cutoff then? I don't know. Um, it's it's something on order ten solar masses. 10, yeah, okay. um, so. So something bigger than ten solar masses might eventually become a black hole. Mm -hmm. Our sun is is not big enough to do that. Um, yep. It'll become white dwarf eventually. It'll yep. it'll blow off all of its red layers. Red giant and, phase. Yeah, it'll us. become a red giant, destroy the solar system basically. Um, then it'll become a white dwarf and, and sort of slowly cool and die um, over billions of years. Um, Astronomers aren't that morbid. They just a lot of bad things happen in space. Yeah, but so the sun the sun will last a good five billion years more. So yeah. don't worry yet. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, it's never going to be a black hole. Yeah. I should point out we of course survived the Mayan apocalypse as well. So we did. Yeah, we're really happy issue. about that. That could have happened. Yeah, yeah, but um, somehow we, we got lucky. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it's just such just such terrible oh, nonsense. Anyways, back to genuine disasters.